dog. Okay. I'm like a dream that's come true, motherfucker. Get the lights up. King. Okay. King. Okay. King. Okay. King. Okay. King. Okay. King. Okay. Okay. King. Okay. Get the lights up. King. Okay. King. Undercover brother, you got damn right with your bitch. Block his ass. <laughs> we ain't need two minutes in, and, 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 and people bothering me already, man. We ain't two minutes in, and people bothering me, man. So I'm saying, I can't even get in two minutes and 15 seconds since I click live, and here comes some nigga talk about King AK undercover brother with your bitch, nigga. In between the sheets, AK broke as fuck. Well, you get me paid. Thanks for the view. Block his ass. <laughs> what up, boy? Clean it all day. You already know what's going on. Yeah, you 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 so helping me get paid. So uh, get your ass up out of here. <laughs> Thanks for the view. You see them commercials? <laughs> yeah, Queen Lotus. What up with it, man? What's up with it, man? Yeah, I, we are, we doing this thing early, man. You feel what I'm saying? I decided, you know, I had some time. You feel me? So we could get something going on uh, on the early side. You feel what I'm saying? But we gonna go to live tonight too. Uh, I'm gonna get drunk tonight. I I can't I can't do both no more. Cause then kids get home. I'm tired. They at school. Daddy passed out drunk. You feel what I'm saying? No, nah, we ain't got time for that. What up with it, man? That's creepy. Yeah, I got a comment and I got a question, man, because for the last few days, it seems like people start to be on edge about this Diddy situation, man. You asked me, he did what they said he did. <laughs> Every goddamn time. Lil Rod, I believe Lil Rod. <laughs> I believe Harry goddamn but I believe Cassie. I believe the lady who got shot in the face. I believe every goddamn body, nigga. Straight up, nigga. It ain't nobody changing that. You feel what I'm saying? But it's some people. Shout out to uh I Bill Ships, Wagner Edmund for the $20 super chat. I love you, King AK47 from Norfolk, Virginia. Shout out Newport News VA. Oh, I shout out Newport. You see what I'm saying? I don't know what Newport News is, but shout out to Newport News. VA, you see what I'm saying? AK, you gay too. Uh, block his ass. We ain't doing no funny stuff tonight. But <laughs> do I look like little baby lied about getting my nails painted, nigga? Do I look like NBA young boy, nigga? Hold on, nigga. Do, uh, do I look like this nigga right here, nigga? <laughs> no, I don't. Do I look like these two niggas? Nope. Do I look like these two niggas? Nope. Do I look like this my theme song, nigga? Reading Rainbow. Nope. Shout out to Baja Jackson for the $5. Uh, 
if I'm going to Cleveland, where should I eat? Uh, anywhere except for B&M's. That shit trash. And do not eat that seafood spot in Cleveland Heights. It's getting people uh food poison. Uh, it's a good ass Angeles, off the clear downtown almost. Uh, you got Angie's. They all right. All the pizza spots is trash. Uh, what else around this motherfucker? All the, you you go downtown, it's gonna be high. <laughs> You're gonna be paying fifty dollars for it, the, 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 the lobster tail. I'm telling you that right now. But they food do be good, man. So shit, scorch is all right. Zanzibar, bar, Zan, Zanzi bar, all right. Uh, Munchie, uh, I don't know about Munchie, man. Munchie, it, it, all, all they eat loaded fry, man. That's all you get for Munchie, man. Hot dog, burnt, you feel what I'm saying? Can't get a good Polish boy. Nah, I'm cool. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. This nigga said Red Walters. Nigga, ain't nobody eating that no goddamn Red Walters, nigga. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Don't go to Kim's on St. Clair, though. You, you might get killed, motherfucker. <laughs> Walking up in that, bitch. I'm just telling you right now where not to go. Don't go to the Alibi. <laughs> Don't go to Kim's. <laughs> Don't go to goddamn, uh, 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 the Anatomy. Don't go to goddamn, um, uh, what's the one called, uh, damn, I keep forgetting. The, don't go to, uh, where everybody keep getting killed at downtown, uh. I don't go. Never went. What's the one bar? If you in Cleveland, what's the one little club where all the little fake ass promoters on? It's good. Shout out to Whopper, no, but I'm just saying. All the little fake ass promoters be talking about. Uh, damn, ain't nobody in this bitch. Man, what the hell is that spot called, man? I keep forgetting, man. Medusa. Don't go to the Medusa. <laughs> don't go to the Medusa. Hell no. You couldn't pay me to go to the Medusa. Niggas don't even go there for hoes. They go there for straight niggas. Beef. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas don't, yeah, yeah. Fuck that. You don't go to the Medusa, motherfucker. You can go anywhere in Cleveland but the Medusa. I'm telling you that right now. Six, seven little niggas follow you up off that bitch. Your ass dead. I'm telling you, yeah, the damn Medusa. That remind me of the goddamn, uh, what, what, what used to be in EC, uh, the Gotcha. It was a club in East Cleveland called the Gotcha Tank. You know what I'm talking about, boy? Nigga, the name, the Gotcha. You get robbed walking off that bitch. You know East Cleveland, the EC, look, don't, 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 don't disrespect the EC, nigga. That's the dirtiest part of Cleveland, man. It ain't even Cleveland. It's the suburb of Cleveland, and it's worse than Cleveland, nigga. Yeah, don't go there. So anywhere you go out to eat, just don't go to Kim's. And stay away from the alibi. And don't go to Medusa. You're good. You're good. AK Moms, where I eat. Uh, shut your bitch ass up. You said that twice already, nigga. I ignored you the first time. Shut the fuck up. Let's get on this Diddy shit, man. Let's see where we at with the poll, man. So I put, do you believe all the P. Diddy accusations is, is true or is it lies being told? Let me tell y'all something, man. How much, let me ask y'all before we get into this live, because yeah, I'm about to bring up Reggie, all this shit, this shit crazy. How much would y'all have to get to go to a P. Diddy party? I want everybody to comment. Let's see who, what type of people we got in this chat. I want everybody to comment. How much do you got to get paid to go to the goddamn uh, Diddy party? Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I see somebody said no dollars. Not going half y'all line. Shut y'all line ass up. You lie like a motherfucker. Half you niggas in there already get your booty hole play with. Yeah, nigga, y'all know I'm a fucked up, dark, sarcastic ass nigga, and I'm gonna cuss my motherfucking chat out and dog y'all just like I dog myself on this bitch. I don't give a damn. Half you niggas going. 
Yeah, I see a nigga said a hundred dollars and a bottle of Henny. I knew it was one of you niggas. Stop playing, man. Now, nah, Eric. Now nah, all of a sudden, cut out of fuck. Look, a couple of you niggas. I follow y'all on Facebook, nigga. Your bitches been hacking y'all pages, showing y'all laid up with niggas, nigga. So yeah, don't let me get to saying names and bringing up shit. <laughs> don't let me get to saying names and bringing up shit. I asked for a reason, motherfucker. Now let's see who gonna tell the truth on this bitch. A lot of you that keep it on the down low. Who? Wow, wow, wow. Oh, girl. Listen, girl. Yeah. A lot of you niggas, nigga. Stop playing with me. Secret love. It's where you want to be. With, with R. Kelly said, why well, making love to him? You solidly caught. Yeah, you niggas is wishy washy. I say that to say this, man. Ticket TV made a great point. Why ain't nobody fought no criminal lawsuit on this nigga? <laughs> I'm not saying he innocent of that. But that hell. Don't none of the victims want to see this nigga in jail? Why, 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 why ain't nobody fought no criminal lawsuit on this? I was thinking, I, I'm like, damn, ticket man. First, I'm like, nigga, shut the fuck up, ticket, you boo with shit. But then I start getting to thinking. They ain't fought no criminal shit on this nigga. Why? Everybody wants some money? <laughs> Man, shut up, AK. You know you would love to go to a Diddy party. Uh, Shut your bitch ass up. Fuck Diddy, his sons, and everybody else with Biggie and Tupac if he claiming they with him. Kiss my ass, nigga. Block his ass, nigga. Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. <laughs> Talk about you would love to go to a Diddy party. You got damn right. They kick everybody ass, nigga, and, and, and they pop everybody in that bitch, and, and they get the snitching and recording every goddamn thing going on. You goddamn right, nigga. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about, nigga? That's some shit. When you see that shit, I don't give a fuck what type of nigga you is. You supposed to tell, motherfucker. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Gene Deal. Bring your old ass in real quick, Gene Deal. Now, I know you done seen some of this shit going on. Why it take you all this time? Now, I know Gene Deal been exposed to Diddy for years, bro. Is he innocent? No. Now, at first, I was team Gene. Like, you exposed that nigga, Gene. But the more this old motherfucker opened his mouth, the more I sit back and think. And listen. Like, damn, Gene, you said you was here for this. You see Gloria Bliss was here for this. You know this. You know that. You know this. You know that. Damn, you know every goddamn thing. Then this nigga Gene Deal say, I was cool with Puffy. All he had to do was say, I'm sorry. Oh. So we have a motive. We have a motive now. So you mean to tell me if Diddy would have said he's sorry, Gene Deal wouldn't be speaking right now, huh? Hmm. Inquiring minds would like to know. Fuck Gene Deal, nigga. I sent the gift, AK. Can you respond, AK? Uh, Sean Craig, you ain't saying the goddamn thing, nigga. Because if you did, you know I ain't got no problems with shouting out the motherfucking money, nigga. What T.I. tiny, nasty ass, perverted ass say? If it ain't about the money, nigga, don't be shit, nigga. I gave y'all them there four years of my life, bitch. I'm about the money now. <laughs> yeah, and the Illuminati better not come knocking on my door. Because I ain't taking the dough they took. I'm sacrificing shit. Auntie made me all oh, you motherfuckers got the go. I'm so fucked up. I'm drinking juice like it's wine or liquor, nigga. You sound like Charles the White. No, shut the fuck up. I've been preaching this shit for years, nigga. So shut your bitch ass up, nigga. Before Charles DeWright was on this motherfucker. So guess what you can do? Turn around, bend over, and shove my foot up your ass. Since everybody likes shit up their ass, put my foot way high up your ass, motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck is he talking about? So now we got a rumor. 
Oh, and, and, and before we get to this nigga son, because we about to obliterate this nigga son. I'm hearing that they found sex tapes in Diddy's house. Type of one if you believe they found sex tapes. Type of two if you believe that shit cat. Type of one if you believe they found sex tapes. Type of two if you believe that shit cat. I'm typing one right with y'all. This fat ass Reggie White done bought his ass out and he done said it. And ever since right here, I'm about to pull up Reggie White, motherfucker. Since this fat motherfucker, he predict they goddamn things. So what the fuck? I ain't gonna believe the nigga now for. I don't give a fuck. What nobody talking about, nigga, we done traded big deal for Reggie White fat ass. That yeah, you got damn right, nigga. So I'm about to bring up Reggie White. Hold on, you gonna hear it out his motherfucking mouth. Or Reggie, Re Reginald Wright Jr., whatever the hell this nigga is. The police nigga from goddamn L.A. Hold on. And we gonna hear that nigga say out his mouth. Uh, He told us that he was gonna get raided. It happened. He told us uh, dude was gonna get raided for the Tupac murder. It happened. He told us dude was gonna go to jail for the Tupac murder. It happened. And now Reggie White telling us that goddamn P. Diddy, uh, they found tapes in this shit and put LeBron James in this shit. Oh, no, LeBron, come on, man. Yeah, we already know you cheated on Savannah, motherfucker. And you had goddamn baby by Sharon Reed. Everybody in Cleveland know this shit, man. Hold on, y'all. Let me do this, man. Look, man. Everybody ain't nigga. Fuck it, man. I don't give a damn. Hold on, man. Let me pull this shit up, man. <laughs> yeah. And then it was already rumors that you was fucking with boys and shit with Braylon Edwards, man. Now, Brian, this shit better not be true, man. Straight up, bro. This shit better. And that's why you and Braylon Edwards got into the fight and y'all beat his ass outside the club, nigga. Everybody in Cleveland know this shit. Hold on. Yeah, y'all ain't no yeah, man. He done put LeBron James in the shit. Talk about, yeah, it ain't nothing like a Diddy party. What the hell that was supposed to mean, Brian? Hold on, y'all. Let's, let's bring up the, 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 the exhibit A. Y'all get them lights up, too. 2,000 people in this bitch. Hold on, let me see. Okay, uh, right away, whatever we've done, whatever we've done, here we go. What the hell wrong with my computer, man? Why the fuck shit sticking this shit, man? Man, my kids gonna fuck my computer up, man. Fuck is this? All right, hold on, y'all. Let me share the screen. Oh, yeah. We gonna see what's really going on, man. We gonna fit it in this nigga nasty ass son. Oh yeah, we gonna see what's really going on, man. Hell yeah, we gonna see what's really going on. This some sick shit. Hold on, share the screen. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. For audio and a separate video file for the. Okay. Um, looking into the Diddy lawsuit that Little Rod claims, or Little Rod um, filed, sorry. Um, he claimed, and I wanted to get your thoughts on this, that every employee that works for Diddy in his house, whether it's the maid or security guard or, you know, the, the, the people who do the lawn or whatever, that they all are instructed to have a black Prada bag filled with um, filled with Coke that Diddy can use at any time that he can grab from. When you hear this, th does it sound believable to you or does that sound far-fetched? What, what are your thoughts? Yeah, that part. We believe we, his ass. Might be, a, unless they only have like two or three workers, you know. Um, you know, people that, where is Fonzo at, y'all? Have we heard anything about Mr. Bentley? <laughs> I wonder where, because he seemed to be a, a person that would have carried his bag around and do stuff like that. Uh, you know, people like that, if you, they tell me this, this little guy that y'all call in the mule that got caught up in all of that, little people that work for him like that would, would make sense to me, um, believe that, but the maid, the, they will have to be really close. So 
Oh, um, it would be surprising to me that he have that many people in his business like that. But damn, that boy better start kicking that habit because he gonna have it bad in church. Y'all thought Shug Knight was passing out and shit in the courtroom. Man, when they go, if he hooked on drugs like that, that nigga gonna be in there throwing up. He gonna be like going through withdrawals. He ain't gonna be able to go to court. And that's gonna be a sad, sad day. So if I can tell you anything, Diddy, man, you going to prison if you don't off yourself or go to, you know, go over there with your boy Russell. So why should I believe you motherfuckers coming to me? All the big dogs saying he going to prison, bro. Do you hear how these niggas are speaking, bro? They not saying if. <laughs> they not saying it's a chance. No. They not saying this, bro. They said his ass going to jail. How many motherfuckers do we got to hear say the same shit before we all come together and be like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, it's over with for this motherfucker, man. Because I got niggas DMing me. They're lying on Diddy. Stop putting bad pills. I'm like, whoa, nigga. I'll... Shout out to Don't Delete History for the $2 super chat. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? This nigga, th but listen to what else he say. Hold on. I don't think he going to jail. Uh, block his ass for being a dumbass son of a bitch, nigga. Huh. Here he, here he. In the court of King AK-47, voice of the goddamn streets, your ass have been sitting to block his ass, nigga. Get your ass out of here, you dumbass bitch. No dummies allowed, motherfucker. If you feel a certain type of way, don't even say that shit. Because if I see that shit, shout out to e Troy Karma for the $10 cash app. He said, rock it with you. Hit that cat, like that cash app, like that goddamn super chat. Get your ass out of here, nigga. Go come up here with a smart ass. I don't think you did it, AK. Shut up, nigga. And the little nigga wanted to go to Arizona, Martin. Get your bitch ass up. Um, so, or a country that is like Russell, that does, doesn't extra. All lies. Cassie is just jealous that Diddy is dating young Miami. Awesome Mr. Empress. Bitch, get your ass out of here. You ain't no Empress shit. You probably an imp, motherfucker. I just said no dumb shit. And that go for niggas and females, goddammit. Yeah, get your dumb ass up out of here. Cassie wasn't jealous that she said you got a long way to go. Say you want to love me, bitch. And that's what she meant. We team Cassie around this motherfucker. I don't give a damn. We ride to the whip, bitch. In the, in the, in the, when we black, you're guilty till you prove yourself innocent around this motherfucker. She told Diddy, you got a long way to go. Say you want to love me. She was tired of being his unofficial girl. And God damn it, uh, uh, it's me and you now. Nah, I've been waiting think I want to make my move now. Nah, and that's what she did. So she brought her music to life, bitch. Extra night. Uh, but so you going to, going to prison. So, dog, before worrying about all of this stuff, you better kick that habit. Because I've seen niggas just for a day or two, how they were acting when they be going through the withdrawals. And bro, you're going to be hurting. You ain't going to be able to help with your defense. You're going to be looking bad in front of that judge. Well, he ain't going to give you a bill. And so, bro, that would be my advice to you, man. Uh, start getting that. Go, go check yourself in the rehab real quick. Because if any of that's true, you obviously, obviously have a bad drug, uh, a drug habit. And uh, when you're going through withdrawals and stuff like that, you cannot concentrate on fighting your know, freedom and all of that. All you worry about is getting that fixed. And so I heard those statements. I heard that, but I hope that's not true. But that's, if he got it bad like that, he gonna have it bad in there. Hey, hey, ain't it crazy how all the music comes true? You got it bad when you, uh, uh, you can say, bro, when you call. Yeah, nigga. Same little nigga, Justin Bieber. Bieber, Bieber, Bieber. Shout out to 
Shout out Lil B. Hey, just the Bieber, man. <laughs> we ain't heard nothing from you. <laughs> they said you're sassy a little bit, nigga. And you walk like you got sugar in your tank, motherfucker. Is you gonna come out and say something or not? Shout out to El Chapo for the $10 cash app. He said for real nigga radio. Ted, uh, nigga, ain't it crazy? You got it bad when they said it. Love it. In there. And bro, you got about three to four months. About three months to get yourself right. So I know you right now and you're talking to lawyers and trying to figure this out and buy everybody off and stuff. And you know, take care of stuff, which you know, hey, that's your prerogative. But just in case those things don't work out, go get yourself clean, bro. Check yourself into a program real real quick. Because if you don't. It's going to be hard, hard, hard in prison. And um, not prison, in, in jail. But they don't give a fuck about you in there. And the guards that they're going to have around you is not going to be the type of guards that you can buy off. And that's going to be having you accessible to those. Those the motherfuckers that don't care <laughs> that you can't buy and get to because they know people in your position and have money like you. Um, you know, will slide them something. You're not going to have access to inmates and stuff like that to slide you something. You're going to have it rough in there, bro. A lot of people think uh, guys that um, snitches, well, not snitches, but guys that, um, you know, go to jail and all that, people going to look out and all of that for you. They keep you away from them. You're going to be isolated. It's harder doing time in PC. Ask anybody that's been there. They have it harder in ASAT or or uh, what they used to call it in the feds. Uh, I forgot the name. But it's harder when you lock down and when you getting your meals brought to you than when you're just in there running free and running around. That time is much, much harder. And um, that would be my advice, man. So you'd be able to help your attorney fight for your life and all of that. Oh. Um, to go and uh, get cleaned up, man. You got time. You got time. I warned you. I warned you to get rid of those tapes and, and clean your house. Take your ass to Bali. You didn't do it. You ignored me. Oh, you drunk. Uh, I ain't drunk nothing yet today, nigga. Uh, look at my eyes, motherfucker. Look into my eyes. I'm cool, you bitch ass nigga. I ain't drunk nothing but some goddamn juice, you whole ass nigga. Get off my dick. Block his ass. You will know if I'm drunk, motherfucker. I'll be swerving and worving around this motherfucker. Acting a goddamn fool. I do that anyway. But nigga, shut your bitch ass up. And if you ask me about that blogger one more time, Miss 7 1, get your ass out of here. I don't care, bro. Stop asking, but if he went to jail, he went to jail, nigga. You think I give a fuck, nigga? I ain't little ass AK no more, nigga. Fuck this nigga talking about, nigga. I'm not about to address that shit. What about the blogger that went to jail? Nigga, I don't give a fuck, nigga. If I gave a fuck, I would have made a video. I don't blog on bloggers, nigga. Unless you are signed, because he fucked with me first, nigga. What the fuck is you talking about, bro? And y'all know it's crazy. I played that video. That wasn't even a fucking video that I wanted to. <laughs> Hold on. Shout out to Bob First TV, man. That wasn't even a goddamn video. Oh, let me let me see. The, let me, oh, here we go. Here go the video I wanted to play. Y'all get them lights up. Here go the video I wanted to play. Now, we done heard this fat motherfucker that was saying, I'm going to believe his fat ass, man. I'm not believing y'all coming up in my chat, bro. Do the innocent, man. This nigga knows something, man. The fat motherfucker predicted the goddamn raid. He got it right, didn't he? He predicted the Tupac shit. He got it right, didn't he? Either this nigga, I love Lucy, a goddamn genie motherfucker, Kabam, Shazam, or all the motherfuckers, Miss Cleo, and all them put together, nigga. Ernest Angley, and you will be chose, nigga, or this motherfucker knows something, nigga. I'm, t I'm not going against this motherfucker. <laughs> Whatever he say, it's rolling around this bitch over here. You see what I'm saying? Over here. That nigga the police. He been the police. And he got connections, motherfucker. How he know all these things. This ain't this, this the video I wanted to see though right here. Listen in detail how he articulately 
says this shit. Okay. Um, after the Diddy raids happened and uh, your stuff went viral for predicting that or speaking on that before it happened, um, logically, the next question I would have for you is, what do you think is next for him after after the whole situation with the raids? Yeah. I find it funny that people be like saying, oh, he the Pope, of course he know. So y'all think Homeland Security, U.S. attorneys, DAs, and New York, Going, going to celebrate something or or tell something to a cop, an ex crooked, alleged, according to y'all, cop from Compton, California. What they every? You got friends, motherfucker. You got friends, nigga. Hey, move going to be? No, like I said, I just speak from common sense, from knowing things, knowing how shit works. But it's funny to me. That's what. Everybody that want to hate on Reyes be like, oh, yeah, he's a course. He was the popo. I ain't been a motherfucking popo for 30 years. Police hate me more than he hates y'all because of the people I've been around and the things that I have done. Y'all see how that white cop was talking to, and all of that? That's how they think. You don't supposed to be. You know, they believe birds of the feather flop together and all of that. Quick. You walk like a duck, you crack like a duck, you're a duck, you know? They believe all those terms and all of that. So they ain't going to share anything with Reggie Wright Jr., or especially on an investigation like that. So let's stop that. Let's stop that comments right now. But today, I'm telling y'all, what's happening right now after the words is niggas ass is Is the stream open to give our opinion? Hell no. If you say Diddy innocent, get your ass up out of here, motherfucker. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Block his ass. Fuck that. No, I'm just playing ears open, motherfucker. Niggas are shitting like crazy right now. <laughs> People are going... Worry, worry, worry. Every time they do a knock on the phone ring, is that the police? Is that, is that, is they, are they coming? Or they call it, they want me to come. Because you're going to have two type of people that's, uh, the law enforcement going to be contacting now. They were going to be contacting victims. Meaning some of the men that laying up there with their wives and acting like they, and they're going to be getting contact. Some of them done did some heterosexual stuff. Some of them done did some. Hey, ladies, keep it all the way funky real quick. We going to keep playing. Keep it all the way funky, ladies. How would y'all feel if y'all laid up with y'all nigga? The feds bang on the door like, yeah, your nigga fuck niggas in there. Oh, 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 some real shit. I know we got some women in here, man. How would you feel? And you suck ass nigga, shut the fuck up. Because like I said, it's 3,600 of y'all. At least 100 of y'all <laughs> doing a hot time cab around this bitch. So we don't want to hear that shit. That's why you niggas ain't commenting. You niggas ain't going to say a peep, not a squeak, not a pen drop. Right? Y'all just sitting back watching. Ladies, how many months, <laughs> how many y'all say you uh chill out on the squares, fam? Block his ass. Like I said. How many of y'all, you know, tell me to chill out on smoking? Bitch, if I want to smoke to death, let me do that, motherfucker. Fuck wrong with you, nigga. <laughs> Don't worry about my lungs and kidneys and shit, nigga. If I want to smoke the goddamn death, let me do that shit. Don't your crackhead ass uncle still smoking? He 80 years old. Don't your grandma 90 year old ass still be sitting up in that chair rocking like a motherfucker smoking? Huh? Who say that can't be me, nigga? So shut your bitch ass up. In fact, nigga. I done out the nigga, a lot of niggas dead, and I'm still smoking, and they done died from natural cause, getting shot up every goddamn thing. So don't worry about me smoking, nigga. All right? Nigga, I'll smoke like this the rest of the live, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, nigga. <laughs> Fuck wrong with this nigga, nigga. 
There's some gay stuff, but they're going to be getting contact. But more importantly, who's going to be getting contact? It's victims as well. Well, I've talked about the victims. It's suspects, people that were doing shit with him at the Diddy parties. And so, man, there's only one person that I'm worried about that's been bragging about and used to brag about going to Diddy parties. That I hope they don't contact them in the month of, well, I hope they never contact me. But definitely, definitely not from April and May. And hopefully we make it to June. I hope like hell they don't contact the young because y'all know I'm a major Laker fan. Y'all know I am. Nobody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. yeah. But people like this, they're going to start erasing stuff like this, and so y'all better get them. Yeah. Keep it all the way 100, y'all. Don't this look nature boyish than a motherfucker? Don't Diddy lies when he be like this, look nature boy. Y'all know how nature boy used to go live with the nigga standing behind him and they like this and he just used to talk. Look at this shit, man. Bruh, what the hell was you doing at Diddy parties, nigga? You wearing hats and shit and all type of shit. Dwayne Wade started painting his nails. Don't forget that. Y'all was best friends, nigga. If you was my best friend, I want to fuck you all the time. I want to be said he's just a friend. Yeah, y'all was best friend. Now all of a sudden, Zaire, the turk, whatever the fuck, Zodic, Zayden, the turk and the Zaire around this bitch. I'm talking about full transformation. It's more of a time. But the family matter started this shit. All of a sudden, some nerd nigga could walk up in some shit and come out Stefan. This motherfucker walked up in some shit, Zayden, and walked out that bitch. My name's Zaya. Hell no, nigga. Sup going on, nigga. You and stepdad, you, you god daddy, nigga. Yeah. I remember that interview with Dwayne Wade said, Me, I'm his god kid. I'm, I'm his, they, his kid's godfather. You my goddamn the problem. What the fuck you got going on? And yeah, the one little nigga, he looked, he was looking a little zesty at first, nigga, but he's the bright. Yeah, hey, bro, I'm glad, nigga. Yeah, right. Because at first, nigga, you were the tight ass pants looking crazy than a motherfucker. But now, nigga, it seemed like you came back to what you was supposed to be in the beginning, nigga. It's over with for Dwayne Wade, kids, nigga. So hold on here. What the hell was LeBron James doing at goddamn Diddy parties? Then, did y'all see the clip when, when LeBron was telling uh, uh Bronny to come here? Bronny ain't come to that goddamn. LeBron said, Diddy on the phone, come come on the line, he want to talk to you. Did Bronny come to that motherfucking line? Hell no. It looked like I seen the eyeball, nigga. I swear to God, nigga, LeBron right here, nigga. This what Bronny did. <laughs> Y'all, look, this LeBron, he in the camera. He calling Bronny over. This what Bronny did, y'all. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm always here for some Hassan slander. Even if, man, you know YouTube is tearing each other down, especially the black ones, nigga. I don't give a damn, nigga. I'm with it all, nigga. If you had a big enough level, nigga, we could go back and forth on this bitch, nigga. <laughs> Call me clout chasing. I don't give a damn, nigga. If you's a peewee, I ain't saying a goddamn thing. Say what you want, but you goddamn right. We always down for some goddamn Hassan Campbell slander. How bad that nigga talked about me. That nigga got a whole 150k view video calling me the police. The whole goddamn live. It still ain't stopped this show. All right. Already the show goes on. All right. Yeah, nigga. You did all that, and it's still the biggest video on your motherfucking channel in the last 10 months, motherfucker, and you ain't caused a dent, nigga. Yeah, but you was getting dicks caught. And, and can I ask y'all a question? Why has Simon Camway fought the lawsuit on African Band Bible? 
all these victims coming out the woodwork like a motherfucker. Years later, ain't no statute of limit, nothing. So what the hell is this nigga excuse? 4,000 people in here, 900 likes. What? Man, get the lights up, man. Stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with me, man. If we got folk though, we should at least have 3,000 likes in this bitch. Stop playing with me, man. Get the lights up, man. The hell is y'all doing? Just looking around this bitch? Nigga, we can speak sign language if you want to. What you want me to do all that? Hit the like button. It's free. I ain't telling y'all I'm already looking short on cash apps. You motherfuckers, damn, income tax money gone. I told you, bitches, stop buying all that shrimp and seafood and shit. Stop replacing them nasty-ass covers and bed sheets and goddamn couches and shit just for your kids to fuck it up and the goddamn money. You hoes do dumb shit with your money. You could have gave it all to me, motherfucker, if you was going to do that. You bitches doing the double. I see the bitch. I see the bitch with nails this long. I said, damn, you know she got tax. Bitch, you know damn well when your nails be just this long when you get your goddamn you ain't got no tax. You get your taxes done, you get nails this long. All your front, your, your whole house furnished and fucked up in a month. <laughs> you bought seafood every goddamn day. Your kids was eating McDonald's. Day. You forgot how to cook and they ain't got them tax. You forgot how to cook, fuck, suck every goddamn time. I can't get a dollar around this bitch until all you all get money ass niggas. Where it's at, nigga? Yeah, you niggas be coming in my live stream talking about, yeah, AK broke. Okay. AK, I'm making money. I'm trapper of the year, nigga. I'm a T-R-A-P-S-C. Young Jock, nigga. Big Meech, nigga. Where we're all the Big Meech shit at? Where the Big Meech shit at? You niggas is hoes, nigga. Where's the Big Meech shit at? You niggas ain't no big meeches, nigga. You little meech, motherfucker. The fuck? Like a Diddy party, so. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. 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 But people like this. They're going to start erasing stuff like this. So y'all better get them, tag them, save them. Look at my boy. Look at my boy. LBJ23 said. Damn, Bob first. People like that. And y'all, I love that nigga as a basketball player right after MJ and Kobe. Kobe, y'all know, is my favorite. Shaq is my second favorite. And then, of course, LeBron. And I hope like hell they don't contact people like that. But trust me, trust me, trust me, it's a lot of people like that. That's going to be <laughs> that shit in bricks right now. <laughs> nigga, you know who the fuck I am? I stopped the whole live and panhandle on this bitch. Nigga, what the fuck wrong with you? Nigga, they gave me an option to put a cash app there. And they give shout out to Burn for the $20 cash app. And shout out to Migo Crit for the $10 super chat. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Fuck this lie. I end this bitch. I will sit on this whole goddamn lot and beg like a motherfucker, bitch. <laughs> fuck wrong with you, nigga. And I refuse to let you go. If I have to beg, please, for your sympathy or for your money, I don't mind because that shit means that much to me. Ain't too proud to beg. And you know it, he, he, bitch ass nigga. Clown ass nigga. Fuck wrong with you. You ain't said nothing hard, nigga. You ain't said a goddamn thing. Now hit that goddamn super chat up, all y'all, and that motherfucking cash app, nigga. The fuck? I ain't stutter, neither. Hold on. Whoa, wait a minute. Hold on. What the fuck is that? <laughs> wait a minute, nigga. To the motherfucker who told me to play this video on that bitch. What the hell you got me about to play on my goddamn YouTube channel? What the fuck? What the hell was that?
bomb first, bro. What the fuck you got on your video, nigga? Oh, hell no. Nah. It's over with. That's over. <laughs> yeah, nigga, you tripping. Let me see. Oh, I guess it's supposed to be a nigga here. Yeah, we ain't playing all that shit. Shout out to Determined for Life for the $20 Super Check. Yeah, we ain't playing the rest of that shit. It's over. I don't know what the fuck that was. Yeah, that's my, my bad. <laughs> Won't do it again. Yeah, I keep listening to you motherfuckers. Talking about play videos and shit. And y'all got a nigga half naked holding the phone. Who the fuck is this? Stevie J. And speaking of Stevie J, 50 Cent, man. Is you going to knock this nigga out or not, man? Shout out to Jody Hawk for the $20 Super Chat for let me buy you a drink. Hopefully you's a woman, Jody Hawk. Because if you a nigga, hit that request button, and I'm going to send you that little $20 back. Fuck wrong with you. Your name Jody Hawk. Please, Jody Hawk, please tell me M or F for female or M for male. Because if you a nigga, and you just sent me $20, and the way you said it just made me sing T-Pain, let me buy you a drink. That shit used to be hard, nigga. <laughs> That song used to be, I'm going to take it home with me. I got money in the bank. Shout out to Migo Crip for the $10. Oh, you a female, Jody girl? Appreciate it then. Put your whole name up there. Put, 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 change the name to Jody Girl Girl or some shit. Because I ain't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> fuck. Only Jody I know off of goddamn, uh, I hate you, Jody. Off goddamn, yeah, Snoop Dogg, no, whatever the fuck. Baby boy, motherfucker. Hey, so as y'all can see, Reggie White is claiming they got the tapes. And guess what? I believe the motherfucker. <laughs> he ain't live yet. We ain't live yet. Damn, man, we losing AK-47 to the zesty world. Fuck. Uh, prior truth. Truth is, you finna get blocked. Shut your bitch ass up, and we gonna do it prioritized. Block his ass expeditiously. Huh. You feel what I'm saying? Exquisitely. Now, ASAP. Mucha. Cha cha. Get his ass out of here. Escort this nigga to hell. Meet the devil, bitch. Fuck wrong with you. You ain't lost me to a goddamn thing, bitch. I ain't know that shit was finna pop up on the goddamn video. Bomb first TV. Edit that shit out, man. Put a warning sign in front of the shit. The hell Stevie J doing in the goddamn bed like this, folks. And speaking of Stevie J, I changed my mind on 50 Cent. Yeah, man. I'm glad 50 Cent ducking the fight, man. Don't touch that nigga Stevie J. Don't touch. He might kiss your hand. Man, 50 might swing that nigga. <laughs> 50 might swing on that. I'm sorry, 50. Yeah, I was wrong, bro. Yeah, nigga. And who's fighting nowadays anyway? Nigga, we ain't fighting. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Unless uh, it's, it's a size advantage, then cool. Other than that, nigga, ain't nobody doing that, nigga. Man, that nigga, he might bite your hand or something, man. Kiss your motherfucker hell no, nah, man. Just 50, you doing the right thing. Just troll that nigga. Don't accept no fight. Don't accept the motherfucker thing. Here go my dumb ass made a whole video yesterday. Yeah, 50 duck in the fade. And then I'm just thinking, I'm sitting back like, nigga, I would too. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all would too. And what the hell? And let me and, let me, and, let, and I gotta say this about 50 though, real quick. 50. Now I understand you don't fuck with Diddy 50. But you don't think you, 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 you should shut the fuck up now though? Damn. Every day. <laughs> this is unprovoked. <laughs> Look, when Nick, this is how you know somebody hates you. When they speak on you unprovokedly. 50, Diddy ain't said shit. <laughs> Nobody in Diddy family has said nothing. In fact, Stevie J was defending himself towards you. Why are you unprovokedly attacking this nigga every day? We get it. We get it. But every day or whenever you feel like it, whatever. sometimes I think Diddy, uh, 50 wake up like, hm, I'm about to hit. Talk about Diddy today. 50. I'm going all on your Twitter, nigga. I'm all on your Instagram. I thought I was childish and kiddish a little bit still. This nigga got me beat by a million. This nigga really childish, bro. 
50. Because guess what they start to say now? If he all this, he, he, you, he, you, he always on your mind, what that mean? I, I had to think about that with Hassan Campbell, too. I said, wait a minute now. Now, I know the nigga called me off first. You see what I'm saying? But I'm making a video, dog, of this nigga every day. Let me check and make sure I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Real trollers don't stop. Let me make sure I'm okay, bro. Because I was I took one thing that nigga said about me and turned that shit into like seven videos, bro. So I had you suck. I'm out. I like 50 more than that. Uh, first of all, nigga, fuck you. All right, bitch. Leanne Tiffany. Shut the fuck up. You're going through menopause. You're bleeding shit every goddamn where you always hot. I don't want to hear that shit. Second of all, I fuck with 50 Cent too, bitch. Many men wish death upon me. Blood in my dog and I. What you talking about? I'll take you to the candy shop. Da, da, da. Which can't nobody do you because you only get wet no more. Uh, what else, nigga? I'm gonna ride tonight. What the fuck you talking about? I fuck. I fuck. With Diddy. I mean, damn. <laughs> Pause. No Diddy. <laughs> 50. I hate that an idiot. It's the idiot. You see what I'm saying? It's just the idiot, y'all. I don't fuck with no goddamn diddy. It's the idiot, man. <laughs> I fuck with 50. Because you know we don't say 50. We say 50. You feel what I'm saying? You got one nigga named Diddy, one nigga named 50. God damn it, they all sound the same. Pause. Pause, 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 pause. But the shit get worse, y'all. Now, like father, like son. King Combs, Christian Combs, is being accused of sexually assaulting and drugging a woman. Lawsuit that's almost here and almost about to. Please don't tell me this shit running the family, man. Let's take a look at what they got to say, man. Please don't tell me this shit running the family, man. Hold on. Christian Combs, Diddy's son, accused of sexually assaulting and drugging woman in looming lawsuit. Christian Combs is reportedly being named in a looming lawsuit accusing the rap star of sexually assaulting the drug in the room. That's nigga, this nigga a rap star? When the fuck this happened? Damn, you, you the son of a nigga and you're a rap star? The lawsuit against Combs, the son of embattled rap mogul Sean Diddy Combs, has yet to be officially filed, but is currently in the works. According to attorney Tyrone Blackburn, the identity of Kong's alleged victim has yet to be revealed and details surrounding the reported lawsuit are sparse. While Combs has yet to address the allegations directly, he shared a post on social media that read, stop the cap, blue cap emoji, although he didn't give context to whom or what he was referring to. Now look at this motherfucker right here, man. It look like that nigga just want to be like, <laughs> as you know, you got to watch niggas that lick their lips a lot. And you got to watch them type niggas. Now, when I look at this man's face, we all judge men and we all judge people by looks. I want to say shit cat, man. But when you just look at this nigga and then you realize Diddy had a Diddy cat and then you realize some of the shit that was being accused was at this nigga crib too. And then you realize that a lot of the people was identifying him as being there at cribs as well. Please don't tell me there's some like father, like son shit, man. 
You cannot make this shit up, bro. The rapper who performs under the stage named King Combs, I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. I have never heard a King Combs song. I didn't even know this nigga was a goddamn rapper. What is going on? Has been romantically linked to multiple women during his time in the spotlight. Combs dated his ex-girlfriend, Bria Hicks, for several years and is currently dating model Raven Tracy, who recently got Christian's name tattooed on her body. The worst decision you could have made. Think about if you a female, man. And you tap the nigga name on you and then shit like this come out. Oh, my Jesus. The claims made against Combs have been described as serious and thrust him into a vortex of shocking claims surrounding his father. As Diddy has been hit with several lawsuits in recent months, accusing him of sexual assault, sexual trafficking, drug abuse, and more. Blackburn, who has previously represented claims in litigation against celebrities such as T.I. and Tiny, as well as Nicki Minaj and Kenneth, is also the attorney for Rodney Lil Rod Jones, who produced a... Let me tell you all something, man. This is bad. This is bad. Last month, Homeland Security conducted raids of Diddy's properties in California and Miami, during which Christian and elder brother Justin were detained and later released following investigation. Let me tell you all something, bro. I can... All jokes aside, because y'all know I talk shit over there. Listen. Diddy has never did nothing to me. When I get on here, you know, I make people laugh and joke. I feel like that's, you know what I mean? That, that's just... Just laugh, you know. We already all been through shit. We can laugh now, right? And we can all come together and do it. But this shit really ain't no laughing ass matter, bro. So if it ain't just Diddy and they accusing his son, then who the fuck else, bro? If Christian Combs and this is my problem, right? Where's the counter lawsuit say? Where the counter lawsuit said? This what makes it hard to even be on Diddy's side. Cause one half of everybody, bro, we're gonna keep it a hundred. You gonna always want another black nigga to not be with well, like we all know people who have been accused of shit and they ain't do it, and we all know people who've been accused of shit and they did it. A lot of niggas go to jail. If you take away niggas being accused for murders, a lot of these niggas would have never seen jail a day in their life. And guess what? They beat it and get the fuck out. I got a cousin that spent like I believe two years. I don't want to say three, two years sitting for a whole murder that he didn't even do. For a whole murder he didn't even do. So we know 4,000 people in here, y'all get the lights up. That we, especially being black, there is some people that's accused of shit who innocent. And not, but don't these niggas just make it hard as fuck to even give hope in them being innocent, man? How the sun is shit, bro? And then it's like, nigga, a lot of kids, what do they say? A lot of sun. When you got this power, I'm going to tell y'all what it is, man. Power and drugs, bro. I don't believe P. Diddy. I love, uh, shout out to I Bill Shit. I love Mr. King, AK-47, you never cat. Shit, you and Reggie Wright, the real truth tellers. 
Love the game, Spitter too. You all my go-to brothers, New Purple Jimmy. Just, okay, now. <laughs> okay. Just we word some shit a little bit. That's all I'm saying. Don't say I never cap. I done got on this bitch a lot a few times. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm one of them blogs. I been telling you this, this is it. Hey, I build shit swagger. I have lied a few times. <laughs> I'm talking about content and all type of shit. I mainly tell the truth, but I, you feel what I'm saying? I have got on this bitch's cat about some shit. Now, let's not do that. And truth tellers, that's a strong word. You feel what I'm saying? Gold on this video, a billion likes. That's a strong word. Shout out to truth tellers. You know, um, people just mean. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing against truth tellers. No but shout out to my boy, the gang spitter. And don't put me in no shit with Reggie White, man. All right? Don't put my name and put a pause, say you never cat shit you, and then put a period. Then say Reggie White. See what I'm saying? Then say Reggie White back. Don't say you and Reggie White. Because then these niggas going to come back with the, here's the police. We still waiting on paperwork. Um, you feel what I'm saying? And all that shit, man. We ain't got time for it, man. But shout out to you for the $20 super chat. I know you ain't being no hard. This nigga's son is accused of the same shit that he accused of. And guess what's coming out, y'all? More lawsuits. What about the bitches that he just fucked? And this is why it opens up a gate for anybody to come out. This law is fucked up, though, y'all. You could come out years later on somebody, bro, with no proof. And just be like, they did something. And the thing is, is that the proof... Is if niggas settle or not. Did he settle with Cassie in one day? But as black people, what do we do? What do we do? Despite if y'all want to believe it, when I get on here, that's just on here. When I'm off of here, I don't be giving a fuck. What do we do as black people, me included? We try to figure out ways to tear a motherfucker down. Instead of people saying Cassie was a bitch, they say Cassie is jealous of another bitch. Okay, then why did did he just settle the lawsuit in one day then? If 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 all the lawsuit was was just Cassie was jealous because Diddy had a new girlfriend, like people was just saying in here, and how people was just bashing Cassie. If that's true, why did he settle in under 24 hours to every accusation she claimed? Why? Why? Smart ass. Can anybody tell me? Please? Please? Can anyone uh figure that out for me? Can anybody figure out if Cassie is all this and she lied and she just put dirt on this name and she just was, you know, hurt and she was being vindictive and evil, then why did he settle that fucking fast? If it was me and I ain't did none of those things, I ain't settling for nothing. Nothing. It makes you think, don't it? And it makes you be hard. It makes it hard. I got 1.4K likes on this bitch. Can y'all get the likes up? Oh, hold on, man. What is it? Because I ain't drunk? Oh, hold on. Now, we done touched 4K and I done had 3,800 k the whole live stream. We've been on here an hour. Why do I only have 1.4K likes with 2.3K more people just watching? And that ain't counting the people that was it you was just hating on 50 Cent yesterday. Oh, I wasn't hating on 50 Cent, bitch ass nigga. Shut the fuck up, nigga. I ain't had 50 Cent growing up. I only had a quarter. Shut the fuck up, nigga. I'm from the era where where uh LA uh Capone said him and his niggas had to split 56 cakes. Nah, -uh. 
my art cakes didn't cost 50 cents. Our shit cost a quarter. So excuse me for being a little bit ahead of your lead, motherfucker. Yeah, my 50 cent cakes, we ain't have 50 cent cake. Bag of chips was a quarter. You get four for a dollar. And Lil Debbie's was a quarter. You get four for a dollar. If you got two dollars, you got lunch and dinner, motherfucker. Two bag of chips, two Debbie cakes at lunch, two bag of chips, two Debbie cakes at night. And if you got three dollars, you got breakfast, lunch, and dinner, motherfucker. How was I hating, you bitch ass nigga? So shut your bitch ass up, nigga. I clearly see the nigga caught the nigga out for a fade and diabetes for dessert. Yeah, we was diabetes. That's why we all gonna grow up diabetic, nigga, back in the day, nigga. Back in the day, nigga. What you mean I'm old? I ain't that damn old, nigga, but I'm telling y'all, nigga. Chips was a quarter, nigga. And Debbie cake, I'm talking about zebra cakes, nigga. Quarter. Some may have been 35 cents. Nothing was 50, nigga. Nothing was 50. 50 cent, nothing exists, nigga. You damn near buy the black and mild for that, 50 cent, nigga. Yeah, they had 50 cent mild, nigga. I'm telling you, nigga. I think certain things was 35 cent. If I remember, certain Debbie cakes was 35 cent, nigga. Like honey buns, nigga. They, they was 35. But, nigga, all that other shit, nigga, a quota, nigga. So, sorry if I'm questioning 50 cent, motherfucker, because all I used to have was quotas. Bitch ass, nigga. Matter of fact, 50 cent came out and told the truth. Damn, his name turned out to be true. Nah, the same things that was a quarter, $1.25. Ain't that a bitch? And you can get the big tall juice for 50 cent, nigga. The big tall juice, though. 35, 50 cent, nigga. Straight up, nigga. Little Huggies, a quarter, nigga. The popsicles, nigga. Some was 10 cent, not more than a quarter, motherfucker. Big long popsicles, two talls. <laughs> Y'all almost thought I was talking about my... You know, the, the, I'm talking about the big ones, nigga. Nah, like, remember them little candies, nigga? That we used to have? Yeah, sometimes y'all that don't know me, I get on here and talk about any goddamn thing, nigga. I freestyle when I blow. So whatever I remember is what I remember. Nigga, y'all remember little fruities, nigga? <laughs> everybody had a little fruit up in them. Yeah, everybody want to call everybody fruity. But what we show tearing them bitches up, though, I'm talking about a bag of them bitches like a quarter, nigga. A bag of fruities, nigga, used to be a quarter, nigga. Yeah, I'm that old, motherfucker. I'm still young, but I'm that old, nigga. For real. Yeah, Cassie lawsuit. Yeah, I'm not about to get on here and bash Cassie, man. A lot of y'all niggas done beat y'all bitch ass and she ain't tell the police on you, so what the fuck you talking about? A lot of y'all niggas, look, I, I, nigga, I, be, I ain't never put my head. A lot of you niggas watching me now done beat your bitch ass, nigga. Whether you call it a sucker attack or whatever the fuck. So shut the fuck up. Because you be the same niggas. I don't believe Cassie. Well, when you was battering and bruising your bitch, nigga, did it not happen, motherfucker, because it was years ago? And she decided she ain't want to tell the police, call the police on you, nigga? When, when bitches, when y'all females, when y'all be hitting niggas upside the head with cups and shit, chairs, lavish tables and chairs, throwing shit, hit niggas upside the head with broomsticks and shit, whatever the fuck around you can find. Is we going to say that the nigga lie if he come out years later say this bitch used to throw shit at me? Hell no, nah, man. Come on, man. Come on, y'all. Come on, man. We doing this. Is we doing this right now? Every one of y'all damn near had a domestic dispute. I was the type of nigga, if I got punched, I'm leaving and calling my sisters. 90% of y'all was the type of nigga, if you got punched, you're beating the bitch ass like a nigga on the street. Shut the fuck up. You're lying, nigga. That bitch hit you so hard, she had to goddamn, you had to whoop that bitch ass. You're lying, nigga. You're lying like a motherfucker. Anger management and intervention problem. Knowing good goddamn well this little ass woman can't really hurt you, but the, fact, the simple fact that she hit you, 
You had to beat the dog shit off that bitch. Why? But why when it come to Cassie? Oh my God, I had a long way to go. So you wanna love me? And she come out with all her shit. Oh, she was lying. Yeah, we don't believe that shit. Why she come out so late, man? Man, don't nobody wanna hear that shit, man. We black, nigga. We don't call the police. We don't tell. We don't do shit. Stop playing, man. That's the white bitches that's gonna get you locked up. Uh, uh, most of you black bitches that got hit by a nigga, y'all ain't called the police. You should have called the police. No. What y'all to do is, y'all gonna call y'all brother, y'all gonna call y'all uncle, y'all gonna call y'all daddy, or you gonna get to fighting the nigga yourself. Knowing you gonna lose, but you still gonna fight the nigga. Stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with me and this bitch, nigga. Touch around this motherfucker. Is we gonna lie, or is we gonna keep it 100 around this bitch? So that's why. Don't live in the projects. <laughs> oh, don't live in a project. It's going to be domestic violence all through that motherfucker. It's something about just living in the projects. I swear to God, nigga, I was with my bitch, nigga. We was living in the project. Longwood, to be exact. Everybody know Longwood of Cleveland, nigga. Shout out to my Longwood, nigga. We used to be, she used to try to, I got it like, wait, you feel me? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Because you got to restrain the bitch. You feel me? You got to restrain the bitch, though. Because if you don't, she going to be whooping your ass. And don't have no big bitch. See, I ain't never fuck with no big bitch. A lot of you niggas be fucking with bitches bigger than y'all. So y'all may have to, you feel what I'm saying? Because she damn near finna put you down. She hit you with heat. I ain't never fuck with no bitch that's going to hit me with no heat. I, I got to be bigger than all my women. Ain't no way I'm fucking with no bitches way bigger than me and smarter than me. There's no way. That's y'all doing that. Y'all fuck with big ass hoes, and they beating y'all ass. I'm cool. Nigga, we was always she swinging and shit. Soon as we left the projects, nigga, not a fight. Same shit going on, not a fight. So let's say we would have took a trip to somebody crib that ain't in the project, no fighting. But if we we in a pro, if we go to another couple house in the projects, they fighting. We looking crazy. We looking like we above them. Knowing good goddamn well you was just trying to knock my head off two days ago, so now we hit, yeah, we just gonna leave. Soon as we left the project, nothing. It's something about project, bro. I don't know if it's in the ground, in the air, in the something. It's something about project. I'm telling y'all, if you a couple and you live in a project, I'm telling you, if you move somewhere that ain't the projects, y'all ain't gonna go through the same shit. Why? I don't know. Don't ask me how. I just don't know. But I swear to God, that shit is true, bro. And other couples that I know live in the project, when they leave, they don't be fighting this shit no more. And be going through the same shit. A bitch, y'all fighting because she done caught you fucking with a bitch. Y'all in the project fighting. Let you move to the suburbs and she cheat, y'all catch you with a bitch. It's just get out or leave. It ain't even that deep, man. So a lot of that shit just crazy. But I'm going to say the Diddy, rest of the Diddy shit, for later on tonight's live when I get my bottle. And you know what I mean? I got to talk about this Batman Kevo situation real fast. Y'all get the likes up for me real quick. Everybody get the likes up. And if you ain't subscribed, subscribe. Because I got another video dropping at 5. And then we going live at 10. Or 11. One of them two. But it, definitely when my kids go to sleep. And I'm going to make sure that's why I ain't drink on this live. I'm going to make sure that I do the goddamn live. It's a new month. I got to make my coins, baby. I got to make my coins, man. I was bullshitting last month. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people is cooking bad man Kevo right now, and they're still cooking the nigga. And I went live about this on Instagram. And if y'all don't follow me on Instagram, then y'all miss a lot of the shit that I speak on because I go live on IG at least three times a day, every day. Um... And I'm not going to say on this long. I just want to say one thing. Batman Kevo's son died trying to rob somebody. From what I hear, that's just from what I'm hearing. Batman Kevo's son friend said that they didn't believe Batman Kevo was his father. For one, he was always broke. And for two, they never seen his father around the boy. So they always heard the boy say Batman Kevo was his dad. They just didn't believe it. 
people that know the boys said they always used to beg them for money and all this shit. Well, I got a question. How you got a millionaire? How you? How do you have a millionaire dad? And the way you died is from money. I can see if it was game banging, even if it don't make it cool. I'm just saying. If it was game banging, okay. If it was health, natural causes, okay. You're a millionaire. Self-proclaimed billionaire, I guess. Your son die trying to get some money. How does those two even fit in the same sentence? How? Not only what did he die, but he was still he was 16 years old. They had split custody. When the son died, Batman Kevo posted a picture of the son with two guns in his pocket and holding one big ass gun. So you mean to tell me out of all the pictures that you supposed to have, whether it's a baby picture, youth picture, a picture with him, a picture with no guns, that's the picture you decide to post. Or is it because you don't have pictures with the little nigga? You ain't been around the little nigga. And I'm going to say it like this, right? I came over here and told y'all, once upon a time, you know, I neglected my kids, man. You feel me? Y'all know I'm the type of nigga, I, it's story time. Here, here go AK, and I ain't even drunk doing this. But I was broke. And a lot of it ain't had nothing to do with the bitch, even though we was beefing and arguing. A lot of it had nothing to do with not loving or being around my kids. A lot of it had to do with because I ain't had no goddamn money to do shit for them. And they was real young of age. But now I'm getting some money. I got a son that has a cell phone and a cash app. So if he ever needs some money, I'll just send it straight to the... Okay, what you know about King Kenny Projects? Come on, man. KKO, bro. Stop playing. I said it straight to him. I don't even got to go through his mom. If I want to talk to him, I don't got to go through his mom to give him no money. I ain't got to go through his mom at all. How the hell Bad Man Kevo Rich and his son 16 years old and you ain't doing shit for the nigga? Nothing. I can understand. If it was back in our broke days, which is still not acceptable, man. I ain't getting on here saying this shit was acceptable, but God damn it, it is what it is, man. I was fucked up. But if I got it, I'm going to make sure all my kids got it the best way I can. You ain't do nothing for the nigga, bro. Nothing. Not a pair of shoes. And the excuse is, according to the baby mama, y'all fell out. Because she put you on child support, nigga. But the child support is only $800? Nigga, I don't think nothing on you costs $800. Everything is above that. All them rings, all them chains, earrings, your receiving hairline surgery and your shit still big. Your BBL, you done put man pecs in you. Your shoes, nigga. The cars you drive. You to put muscles in your body. The houses you live in. The, 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 your bad man, Kevo. $800 of child support? What the fuck that's going to do for a 16-year-old? Like, let's be real. That's barely school clothes. $800 a month. Because I see the nigga has some clothes. And even if the woman kept the $800 a month, what the fuck was that supposed to do anyway, though? For a 16-year-old? Who want to do shit? Who need shit?
So because of that, you said fuck everything? Well, as long as I pay my child support, I ain't got to do nothing. What? Oh, I just caught a Charlie horse. Oh, my God. Damn. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, shit. Damn, I just caught a mean-ass fucking Charlie horse. God damn. Shit. Damn. Woo, that motherfucker was in that thought, boy. God damn. Oh. Hey, man. <laughs> that motherfucker nodded up real quick. Woo, shit. Damn, it's cool now, though. Damn, I don't even get them bitches like that. Y'all hear me now? I should be good now. Damn. I should be good now. But the irony uh, 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 of, of you being a millionaire, shout out to Steph Hudson for the $10 cash app. The irony of you being a millionaire, your son died trying to get some money, that shit just don't sit right with me, man. That shit just, no, nah, uh, my alarm went off. I got to go get my kids. It's 3 o'clock, so I got to, you know what I mean? I got to get them at 3.30. But, uh, Prayers out to that boy. I, I, sad he lost his life. You feel what I'm saying? He had to hit licks. Y'all know nigga coming up, nigga hitting licks. Easy. You see what I'm saying? And he hit the wrong lick. I guess him and two other niggas try to rob a nigga and, 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 and shit. He got killed. So, but to be a million, to have a million there daddy and you out here starving for money. Like, what? My my sound still fucked up? Well, it's time for me to get off this bitch anyway, then. Shit, fuck it if it's still fucked up. Uh, but, yeah, that's the Batman Kevl shit. Uh, I got 30 minutes, y'all. I'm about to go live on Instagram, though, real quick, because I can move around like that. If y'all want, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna go live after this live and continue. But I got another video dropping at five. That's separate, and then I'm doing a night live stream. You feel what I'm saying? So I gotta get ready to go. Follow me on Instagram, y'all. Underscore King. Underscore AK. Underscore Forty Seven. Me go crit. Drop the link, and I'm gonna put it on the screen. Cause I wasn't even gonna go live. I just said fuck it. I'll go live one time. Um. Y'all should be following me anyway, man. I ain't put shit on the screen. Follow me at Instagram, underscore King, underscore AK, underscore 47, underscore. You feel what I'm saying? For real, for real. Y'all follow me. I'm going live over there on Instagram. I'll holler at y'all in a minute. Shout out to y'all for the donations. Hit that like button before y'all leave. Hit that like button before y'all leave. And hit that subscribe button and make sure the notifications turned on. And we're going to rock out all day. Y'all know what time it is, man. King AK47 Voices. <laughs>
years, dog. Okay. I'm like a dream that's come true, motherfucker. Get the lights up. King. Okay. 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 Get the lights up. King. Okay. King. Block is eight.